Hi viewers, welcome to Metallurgy with AJR. Small concepts in an easy and simple approach. Here I am going to discuss about quench cracking and its prevention. Normally quench cracking occurs during conventional quenching. That is quenching from the oxygenizing temperature to the lower temperature. That is drastic cooling. At very high drastic cooling rates of around 150 degrees centigrade per second, distortion takes place and sometimes even quench cracking. So we have to prevent this one and I have given some methodology by which you can prevent this quench cracking that is intermediate quenching. Quench cracking and its prevention. Here you can see a macro etched structure where a quench crack is propagating from the surface to the center. What is quench cracking? One major source of steel cracking is excessive cooling rates during quenching. You can see from the photograph that the crack passes from the surface to the core. Excessive cooling rates produces greater thermal stresses in addition to the transformation stresses. So the steel cracking during transformation to martensite is due to the volumetric increase that accompanies martensite formation. You can see in conventional quenching, the steel is quenched from the oxidizing temperature to a temperature below the martensite finish temperature. So the quenching temperature or the quenching temperature is below the MF. Intermediate quenching. In this intermediate quenching technique, the steel parts are cooled rapidly from the oxidizing temperature to a temperature above MS that is around 300 to 350 degrees centigrade. This particular temperature is achieved by maintaining a molten salt bath. The details you can see in the next slide. Composition of salt bath and working temperature range. Here you can see various types of salt bath for working in different temperature range. For example, if you want a temperature range of around 160 to 280 degrees centigrade, you can have sodium hydroxide 75% and potassium hydroxide 19%. Similarly, if you want a higher temperature range, for example, 500 to 800 degrees centigrade, then you can use sodium chloride 10 to 15%, potassium chloride 20 to 30%, barium chloride 40 to 50%, and calcium chloride 15 to 20%. So, according to the working temperature range, we can suitably select a corresponding composition of salt path. So, now what is the main purpose of intermediate quenching? The purpose is to delay the cooling just above the martensitic temperature until the temperature equalization is achieved throughout the steel part. So, this minimizes the distortion, cracking and residual stresses. Stress are as follows. First, quenching from the oxidizing temperature into the hot quenching medium, hot oil, molten salt, above the martensitic range. Then, submerging the quenching medium until the temperature throughout the steel work piece is substantially uniform. Cooling at a moderate rate to prevent large differences in temperature between the outside and the core of the work piece. You are getting very good results since the formation of modern site occurs fairly uniform throughout the workpiece during cooling to room temperature even in the case of a low carbon steel thereby avoiding excessive amounts of residual stresses, distortion and cracking. Friends, my idea is to give small concepts of metallurgy in a continuous process. Kindly like my videos and subscribe. You will get notification from me every week. Thank you.